Imagine holding a piece of the early solar system in your hand. Meteorites, ancient rocks from space, contain tiny spherical droplets called chondrules. These minuscule spheres, no wider than a grain of sand, tell a story of creation and chaos. For decades, chondrules puzzled scientists. They formed in the solar system's infancy, but their creation process was a mystery. A recent study revealed that Jupiter's birth triggered their formation. The gravitational pull of this emerging giant set the stage for the cosmic events that forged these tiny spheres. This discovery is a breakthrough, transforming how we see these ancient rocks. Each chondral is a timestamp, a frozen moment from the solar system's infancy. The story of Jupiter, the colossal gas giant, was written in these tiny drops of stone that fell to Earth. What exactly are these chondrules? They are tiny glassy spheres, crystallized droplets of silicate minerals. Scientists were stumped by how solid rock could be flash heated and cooled to form perfect spheres. Various theories were proposed, but none fully explained their abundance. The breakthrough came from computer models simulating the early solar system. These models showed that water-rich planetesimals, when colliding, could create explosive impacts. The impact energy vaporized ice, creating a spray of molten droplets. These droplets cooled rapidly, forming the chondrules we see today. The model matched the physical evidence in meteorites, solving the mystery of their formation. This discovery highlights the dynamic and often violent nature of our solar system's early days. Chondrules are not just geological oddities. They are keys to understanding planetary formation. The tiny spheres reveal the secrets of our cosmic past. Knowing how chondrules formed raised another question. What caused so many high-speed collisions? The answer was Jupiter, growing rapidly in the outer solar system. As Jupiter accumulated gas, its gravitational influence disrupted the orbits of nearby planetesimals. This gravitational chaos triggered a massive spike in high-speed collisions. The models showed a direct link. As Jupiter grew, the rate of violent impacts increased. This led to a chondrule-forming epoch, a period of intense production. Jupiter was not just building itself, it was reshaping its environment. This discovery links chondral formation to a specific planet, painting a vivid picture of the early solar system. With the connection between Jupiter's growth and chondral formation established, scientists had a new tool. Chondrules could be used as a cosmic clock to pinpoint when Jupiter stirred the solar system. Radiometric dating techniques allowed scientists to measure the age of chondrules. The data revealed a peak in chondral formation 1.8 million years after the solar system's birth. This timing coincided with Jupiter's rapid gas accumulation. The conclusion, Jupiter is our solar system's eldest child, forming within the first 2 million years. This discovery provides a robust, evidence-based age for Jupiter. Knowing its age is crucial because Jupiter's early formation influenced the architecture of our planetary system. The story of Earth's beginning is linked to Jupiter's birth, told by these tiny ancient stones. Why does it matter that Jupiter formed early and fast? Its presence shaped our solar system's destiny. Jupiter acted as a powerful architect, preventing a planet from forming in the asteroid belt. Its gravity deflected comets and asteroids, protecting the inner planets, including Earth. Jupiter's rapid growth influenced the size and composition of the inner planets. By establishing Jupiter's age, we gain a critical anchor point in planetary formation. Not all chondrules are the same age. Some may be linked to other giant planets. This opens the possibility of reconstructing the birth order of all giant planets. The discovery reminds us that grand secrets are often hidden in small packages. These tiny raindrops of stone have carried their story across space and time, revealing the birth certificate of a giant.